We all want children to love reading. But how does it happen? Well, it happens because of the adults that surround them. Mum, dad, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, everybody has a part to play. And I'm so often asked, well, what do you want us to do? Well, I've got some top tips. And they're top tips that all of us can achieve. Unless you can talk, you will not be able to read. And if you can't read, you're not going to love it. So we have to give children the tools for reading. And any child that has a wide vocabulary, we know is at an advantage. So where do you acquire your words and your language? You acquire it from people talking to you. You don't acquire it from a screen, you acquire it from human beings. So from the moment your child is in the womb, and I do mean in the womb, we should be singing, enjoying rhymes, and talking to our children. Talk as you walk, talk as you do, talk as you cook. Fill your children with vocabulary and language for later use. But of course, you'll also be developing their curiosity, their imagination alongside this. Now, where better place to talk than when you're playing? And of course, we know that research shows us that children who played fared better in life. They developed as whole human beings. Play is vital and essential. But of course, what play does is it encourages you to talk. In fact, some of my best talking was when I was playing, often on my own even. It still encouraged me to talk. Well, children who read as adults, almost all of them came from homes where other adults read. So it's vital that you are the best advert for reading yourself. Your children have to see you reading. Otherwise, why would they want to do it? Now, it can be the newspaper they catch you reading, magazines, the cereal box, books. It's lovely when they know that you read in bed for hours and you couldn't put the light out. You have to be a role model for reading because it's infectious. They will catch that bug. We now know that the single most important activity for giving children a love of reading is that they were read to aloud regularly. Now, sadly, we've discovered that Almost one in five children have rarely been read to their mums and dads. And only one in five parents read regularly. So there's a lot still to be done. And it's got to be a rip-roaring story. And it has to be as often as possible. Sometimes snugly at night time, sometimes in the daytime, we're all singing and dancing. Every one of us that enjoys being with children has to be a performer and a performer of stories. So as often as you can, and when you're in the mood, remember, don't do it when you're not in the mood, read aloud to your children. And don't be frightened to make up silly stories. We've discovered that dads are some, I don't know why, but they're better than mums. They, they're the ones that are in the car making up those silly stories. But what I guarantee is, if you make up a good story, your child, when they're 60, will remember when mum or dad told that silly story. Please make sure that your children have as much access to books and magazines and comics as they... Yes, comics are great. A lot of people think, oh, comics are fantastic. They're full of action, full of wonderful vocabulary, full of sound effects, really good for children. But... Please make sure your children have access to as much reading material as possible. We know they can be expensive, but there are second-hand sales. There are public libraries that will lend you up to 12 books at one go. So make use of those. We're lucky to have those public libraries.